Hi, I'm Scott from Powell and I'm here to discuss mason kneeling valves being used for process control on legacy Powell equipment. This control valve has a positioner mounted on top of the actuator that sets the proper valve position based on a control signal. Some of our valves use what we call a 4700 positioner, which is here. And these positioners require periodic maintenance. The video today is going to demonstrate how to perform a basic inspection and calibration of the 4700 positioner when used on a fail closed application. So when we say fail closed, we'll identify in a little bit this little arm on the um, positioner. There are a few exceptions where Powell equipment uses fail open applications, but that is not covered in this video. For this procedure, the Powell equipment must be shut down and the service valve should be closed and locked if applicable. Follow all plant lockout tagout procedures and PPE requirements. To begin, we're going to remove the positioner cover and inspect the cam and follower. The follower should be properly aligned with the cam and should move freely without binding. For today's example, I put a Sharpie mark to show the alignment marks you'll see on the housing and the cam that goes to the follower. The cam should be tight and under normal circumstances, the cam follower should be on the number five lobe. To check for tightness, grab the cam and wiggle it up and down. This particular example, it is tight. And on the cam, you'll see position number five here to the left of my example line. With the valve fully closed, the line of the number five lobe should align with the reference line of the positioner. Push in the solenoid override and lock it by giving it one quarter turn clockwise. If your solenoid is not equipped with this bypass function, you will have to remove the air lines and connect together with a coupler to bypass the solenoid. To begin, ensure the proper supply air pressure is available. This pressure should be 25 to 30 PSI and can be found on the air supply pressure gauge of the positioner located here. Set the controller output to 0% and look at the valve positioner indicator to see if the valve is closed. For today's example, I am using a process simulator. It is not always clear if the valve is fully closed by looking at the indicator located here. So to verify if the valve is fully closed, unhook the air tubing from the actuator to see if the valve closes further. Typically you should not see a movement. In this case, we did. Noted here. I am going to plug the airline back in and you'll see the movement again. If the valve is not fully closed with 0% output on your control, we're going to loosen the lock nut and adjust the zero nut clockwise until the valve is fully closed. This is the lock nut and this is the zero nut. We are going to turn it clockwise until we see the movement stop at zero. And now we see the position at zero. Our next step is to set the controller output to 5% and look at the position indicator to see if the valve is starting to open. I will now adjust that set point. As you will see, the indicator moved approximately 5% of the 0 to 100% scale. If the valve is not starting to open with 5% controller output, adjust the zero knot counterclockwise until the valve starts to open. In this case, we do not need to adjust it. It is easy to make too much of an adjustment, so after making the 5% adjustment, double check that the valve fully closes with 0% controller output. Now we're going to set the controller output to 100% and look at the valve position indicator here to see if the valve is fully open. If the valve is not fully open, we're going to loosen the locking screw and rotate the spring until the valve is at fully open position. The locking screw is here and the spring is here. As you can see, I cannot rotate the spring, so I'm going to take the solenoid out of bypass and adjust the spring accordingly. I will turn the spring clockwise and retest my 100% open position. There we have hit 100%. After making the 100% open position adjustment, the zero position must be verified. In this case, the adjustment was minimal, so there is no further adjustment needed on the 0%. Please keep in mind that one adjustment will affect the other, and back and forth adjustments may be necessary. Continue adjusting until the valve is closed at 0%, beginning to open at 5%, 
and fully open at 100%. If difficulties are encountered getting both positions correct, the zero position adjustment is the most critical. The 100% position is not as critical and the valve will still function properly if it is close, but not exact. After adjustments are complete, tighten locking screw on the spring and locking nut on the zero nut as demonstrated here. Reinstall the positioner cover. Unlock the solenoid bypass, remove lockout tagout, open service valves, and resume normal operations. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. See our YouTube channel for more videos regarding control valve maintenance. Stay tuned for more Paul maintenance videos. And for more information, visit our website at paulsolutions.com.